Well, good morning, everybody. So in the first few videos, I've talked a little bit about my uh, Studer 810 reel-to-reel, -reel, and I've talked a little bit about my uh, Kronos turntable and uh, my Avid uh, Acutus turntable. Um, but I want to spend a little bit of time and talk about the, uh, the name ND555 DAC. Um, this is Name's top of the line source, and it is based on a Burr Brown PCM 1704 chip, which you know is quite legendary. It's been around a long time. It, you know there are no supplies left of it. Um, my understanding is that Name purchased several um, thousand of these chips to have inventory for a long time. Um, you know, it's been argued that it's one of the most analog musical sounding chips. It is a uh, R to R ladder DAC. Um, and it sounds phenomenal. Um, I've got it configured a little bit differently than what you would typically see. You would typically see it paired with the matching um, um, uh, power supply. Um, but I've actually got it matched with two power supplies. And... The reason is that the digital section will get one power supply and the analog section will get one power supply. So it theoretically improves the sound. Um, did it do it dramatically? Not really. It was it was an improvement. I, I don't think it was like, wow, you know, night and day. But there was certainly better separation, more ease to the to the musicality. It sounded, you know, more ease to the musicality. It sounded more like music, frankly um and less like digital uh there's a sneak peek at my uh amplifier that is the uh, the big 500 name amp um it is not the most powerful name amp it's the second most powerful um they do have the statement series uh power amplifier but this is plenty enough for me and it is the second from the top of the line from name but um the racks are the name frames or they're, they're built specifically for name um equipment um, they're quite good. Um, so anyway, that's the, uh, the, the, the digital situation. Um, normally, I'm feeding it with an render, but we are preparing for the Florida Audio Expo next week. And I actually uh, have packed it up and I'll be taking it to the show. But um, it sounds great using it with an render to either the SPDIF input or the BNC input. Um, or it does have an Ethernet connection, and you can use Rune, or you can use the Name app. And I'll be honest with you, I I have a hard time deciding whether I like the Name app better or the Arender better. Uh, the Rune is certainly the best user interface, but I'm not sure with this particular DAC it's the best sounding. Um, I really think the Name app is just, it, it may be the winner, so... Uh, this has been an interesting experiment, having uh, the render boxed up and ready for the show. I've been able to use the name app a little bit more, and it is really, really good. So that certainly simplifies things. And then the last piece of the uh, the digital setup here is the uh, the name Unity Core, this little box here. It's actually a uh, CD ripper, and you put your own storage in it. Um, in here, I think I put a 10 terabyte Seagate drive in there. So you just pop in a CD, um, connect to Ethernet, and it will start to rip the uh, CDs. So, um, yeah, but um, most of the time I'm streaming, so I do play some of my own content. I do have some uh, some pretty good CDs, but, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's a quick look at the digital side of things. Thanks for watching.